Welcome back to the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm. It's now time to turn our attention to the hardwood as your Lady Lion volleyball team was in action under new head coach Jim Smoot. Here's the action. New head coach Jim Smoot, he's been to the Final Four in previous stops in his first home game with the Lady Lion volleyball program. As the team gets ready to take on the Tulane Greenway. And that's the first meeting between these in-state schools in more than five seasons as Morgan Todd serves away. The Green Wave on the attack. Blocked by the Lady Lions. Continue and Tulane not able to get the ball back over the net. Oh, Todd again to serve. And there's a service ace. There's the Lady Lions. Playing well in the first set at home as there's another ace out of Morgan Todd, the Mandeville native. As Tulane serve goes long. Lady Lions pick up a point. Todd with a dig. Michaela Shippey sets it up for sophomore transfer Tiffany Thomas. Tulane puts it back over. Shelby Devlin sets up Thomas. That one dug by Tulane. On the attack. Dig by Shippey. Set up by Todd. And helped back over by Jessica Rausch. Tulane continues the volley. As the Lady Lions not able to get it back over. Shippy setting up Shelby Devlin for the kill. Served by Tulane. And Southeastern on the attack as freshman Landry Bullock gets the kill. Sneaks it just inside the line. Roush with a dig. Bullock set up by Shippy and big powerful attack. Results in a kill for the Lady Lions. Shippy on the serve is Rachel Bunn. Freshman out of California shoves that one right back down at Tulane for the kill. Todd on the dig. Shippy setting up Bunn again. And the Lady Lions on a roll early against the Greenway as they win it by a score of 25 to 21. Moving on to the second set. Smoot coaching up his brand new team. Brooke Balser, Ponchatoula native. The dig is Lady Lions keep the play going. Tulane on the attack, and that'll drop in for the green wave. As Tulane comes from behind to take the final three sets, Southeastern drops to one and three on the year. Tough loss for the Lady Lion volleyball program, but they will be back in action this weekend as the Tangy Tourism Lion Classic takes place at the University Center. It's now time to turn our attention to the football field as your Lions open their season against Southeast Missouri. Right here, here's the action. It's so a Thursday night kickoff at Strawberry Stadium, and Coach, there was a lot of excitement in the air, and I know you were very impressed with the student turnout in this Thursday night contest. Yeah, very pleased with them. I'm, I'm excited with them giving us a home field advantage. I'm looking forward to that, um, that atmosphere improving every week. And I think really think it led to this opening kickoff, the energy in the stadium. Guys come out and you know do an excellent job in kickoff return. Xavier Overson does a fabulous job almost taking this one back to the house to start off the season. Coach, a year ago, at some points, we saw your team not start uh, particularly fast in the ball game. Well, not in this game. Your team started very fast, especially offensively, and you go right down the field here, running the football, establishing the run, and, went, and then we got to saw Brian Bennett throw the football. Yeah, you're going to see several runs here by Rasheed Harrell, uh, you know, and uh, offensive line really taking control of that line of scrimmage, and then you get Brian Bennett rolling out here, getting him on the perimeter, makes a nice threaded pass down there towards the goal line uh, to Tony McCray. And then this is the element that uh, that, that really is going to change the game for your offense is you have two options here. You can either give the ball to Rasheed or Brian can keep the football, and that's almost unstoppable near the goal yeah. line. Brian keeps that one in and, and starts off the game with a, with a touchdown. So the Lions jump out on top 7 to nothing, and Seth Sebastian is going to knock through the extra point. And Seth had a very good night as well. We're going to see him kick a field goal later in this game, but uh, Seth with a, with a good start uh, to his season here in 2013. Yeah, and the offense line is going to open up a hole here for uh, Xavier Oberson off to the left side. And, Walks in untouched and uh, just again, uh, things feel like this right at this point. We're, we're clicking on all cylinders, feeling real comfortable. We're getting a lot of people involved in the ball game. The atmosphere was electric. Your team jumps out to a 14 nothing lead. I know that was important for the home crowd. Get those guys energized. Coach, they had cut it to 14 to seven, and your team comes right back. Cut it right back. Offense goes back, answers the question, goes back down the field. Cody on that on that drive it has a couple big runs. Again, offensive line does a great job. Seth adds an extra, another PAT. A great hold by Matt McCormick, snapped snap there by Peyton Drenier. Coach, they had a couple of times at the end of the first 
half, they get back in the ball game, and they were in striking distance, and your defense really answered the bell. Yeah, I mean, we have a, you know, there's a big stop there. Again, Jacob Newman uh, with a sack. We'll get some pressure there. Uh, and then you see uh, Josh Dakin from North Shore come here making a big stop on the perimeter as well. Uh, and then they're going to go for a PAT block, and Justin Church is going to come in there and get a hand up and uh, block this field goal attempt. So congratulations to Coach Ron Roberts and his football team for starting out the season 1-0. And we're going to take a look at the line profile this week as we profile transfer quarterback Brian Bennett. Here's the story. This whole offseason, no matter where you went in Hammond, every Lion football fan wanted to talk about Brian Bennett. Bennett transferred from Oregon and immediately took control of the offense, and his work showed off in game one as Brian rushed for over 100 yards and passed for 160 yards while rushing for three touchdowns in his first Southeastern game. And to most fans, the game looked flawless, but despite having a good night, Brian saw some mistakes when he watched the game film. You know, we want to be perfect as we can, so, you know, there's a lot of things that uh, to the viewer they won't see, but, you know, for us, you know, it could be as little as, you know, one step the wrong way or something. So, um, you know, this game of football is a game of details, so, you know, we really break it down like that. But, um, yeah, you know, we were able to get on them early, scoring in the first, you know, 90 seconds, I believe it was, and uh, to be able to do that uh, can, you know, really kind of, if their team's not mentally tough, it can, you know, set them off the wrong, on the wrong step and kind of put them on a downward path the rest of the game. And we were able to do that and we were able to continue doing that. And, uh, you know, I just think that that's something that we need to do. We need to come into every game and we need to stay focused from the first snap to the last snap, no matter what the situation is. At one point in the game, Brian took off running toward the home sideline and took a shot that could have been avoided. Brian got up with some grit and got in the face of the player who hit him. The Southeastern fans loved the grit and fire of their quarterback. But Brian's biggest fan, his dad, was none too impressed. And after the game, he let Brian know. You know, he, that's kind of what he told me is just you got to be smarter than that because, you know, it didn't cost us there. And same thing Coach Stevens told me. And, you know, I, kn I knew myself as, uh, you know, I, I kind of let my emotions get the better of me there, uh, which is something that you can't do, especially as a quarterback. You need to stay calm, poised, and collected. Um, you know, I didn't think I was going to get a penalty for that. But, um, you know, it's just in a game where it's a tight situation, you know, it could be the difference in a game. If we ended up, you know, we could have scored on that drive. We got to, we got to, and had to settle with the field goal. And we could have put, you know, six, seven on the board. So, you know, that's something that, you know, you need to eliminate from your game. And so it was a learning experience. Brian takes great pride in his play on the field, but he also takes great pride on his work in the classroom. A student athlete, student comes first. Um, you know, we're, that's why we're here to get an education. Uh, this, you know, football is it's what I love. It's what I want to do as long as I can do it. But, you know, we all know it's, it can't last forever. So, um, you know, this, the school has been going great. Um, I think, you know, over the years I've learned to, to realize how important it is um, and really try and focus in, try and sit in the front of the class and, you know, try and take notes and, um, you know, communicate with teachers and all those things. Um, His first semester in Hammond, Brian earned a 3.6 GPA, and he is back in it this semester, earning high marks on and off the field. So for now, the starting quarterback goes about his business on campus as he tries to get better on the field and in his studies. This week, Brian and his teammates take to the big stage, national TV, as the Lions and TCU battle in Fort Worth, Texas, a stage Brian has been on before. Um, you know, that's something that I just hope that we can all not get caught up in. It's something that is there and it's an opportunity that we're blessed to have. Uh, you know, a little bit more recognition and opportunity to display, you know, what we've been working so hard for and to, you know, display the God gift abilities that we've been blessed with and um, but at the same time you can't you can't let that get to you mentally that's got to be something that once you step on that field it's a man across from you and that's it and that's all that matters so there you can see Brian Bennett getting it done on and off the field it's time for a break when we come back we're going to talk with Cody Gogler from the Lions Athletic Association right here on the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm Aaron you're all set great thanks Mike, thanks for doing that discount double check. You saved us hundreds. What was that? The discount double check? It's when we comb through your policies to make sure that you're getting all the discounts you deserve. No, I get that part, but you guys are doing my move. The discount double check move? That's my touchdown dance. You're a dancer? I'm a quarterback. Oh, quarterback. More. I'm a robot. <laughs> <laughs> get out of here. Aaron Rodgers got his. How about you? Count on Patty Hubert and Puntatula for the discounts you deserve. 